What's up, you guys? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I know I am. Out of all the topics that I deal with videos on, I didn't think I would double up on abortion. I was just browsing Reddit today and wondering what to do a video on. I was hoping I would pass something positive. I was hoping I could give you guys some hope that our society was taking another step in the right direction. I don't want all my videos to be depressing. As you watch this video, I don't want you to get depressed. I want you to realize that this stuff is in real life and that you need to realize how important it is not to believe all the garbage that you see in the news. So the article today was about the literal Church of Satan giving their two cents on abortion. Before going to what the Church of Satan had to say about abortion, I want to make sure you guys are aware of what the Church of Satan actually is. We see this church pop up in the news every so often. I grabbed a couple of headlines to show you guys. Maybe you heard of them before. They're an actual legal entity. Back in 2019, the IRS gave them not-for-profit legal status. This means that they can operate just like any other church, and that just like any other not-for-profit entity. They can receive donations without being taxed by the IRS. We're used to hearing about the Church of the Father, the Church of the Son. Now I guess we're going to get used to hearing about the Church of Satan too. The Church of Satan decided to give their own response to the abortion law that Texas just signed a couple of days ago. They're arguing that its members in Texas should be exempt from this new law, Senate Bill Number 8. And here's the reason why the Texans should be exempt, according to them. They gained their exemption from the Texas Freedom of Religion Restoration Act, which bans government from infringing on religion. Wait a second, guys. The Church of Satan is saying that abortion is protected under freedom of religion laws? I don't get this at all, you guys. How can anyone in their right mind seriously say that getting an abortion is protected under freedom of religion? Just listen to what the Satanic Church has to say about this. The Satanic Temple stands ready to assist any members that share its deeply held religious convictions regarding the right to reproductive freedom. Accordingly, we encourage any member who resides in Texas and wishes to undergo the Satanic abortion ritual within the first 24 weeks of pregnancy to contact the Satanic Temple so we may help them fight this law directly. When you look a little bit deeper into the rights that the Church of Satan holds dear, one of those rights is stated as such. One's body is inviolable, subject to one's own will. Okay, I agree with this. I totally agree with that statement. I totally, totally agree. One's body is subject to one's own will. I totally agree. I have the ultimate will of my own body, right guys? This brings up an interesting perspective. So if I don't want to get the vaccine, then the Church of Satan will back me up. The Church of Satan is going to stand up for me. I mean, it's my body and I should be able to decide if I get the vaccine, right? I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't get the vaccine. All I'm trying to point out is how interesting that discussion would be. So back to how this belief connects with abortion, though. I get what these Satanists are trying to say. Every person has the right to control their own body by using their own free will and choice. I just have one question, my dudes. Can I use my own body to punch someone else in the face? Can I use my own body to pick up my neighbor's dog crap and throw it back in their window? Can I use my own body to kick the crap out of Hillary Clinton when I catch her following me in the woods after the next race she loses? To answer all these questions simply, yeah, I can do all those. I can use my body to commit all those crimes, but there's going to be consequences. So will the Church of Satan protect me in these cases because I was using my own body? I was using my own body to do these things. I'm just exercising my own free will. Satan didn't say anything about using free will to do legal stuff. Now you guys are going to say, but that involves someone else's body. If you kick someone, then you're moving their body against their own will. If you throw poop in someone's window, you're forcing them to use their nose to smell the poop. Okay. I'll just use my own free will to throw a Molotov cocktail in the downtown office building on a holiday. That way I know that nobody's in the building. Can I use my body that way? It's my own free will. Obviously, no, guys, I can't do that either. It's too bad the Church of Satan is forgetting that the baby has a body also. According to the Church of Satan, shouldn't this baby be able to act on its own free will, just like the mother who's carrying the baby? We don't know if this baby has free will yet. Nobody knows. What if the baby has feelings even before it's born? Obviously, it has some sort of feeling because it can move around and get hiccups and kick and respond to sounds and all of that while it's in the, in the womb. Back to the church's response. Back to the church's response, though. 
I don't know why, but I get a disgusting feeling reading that. The satanic abortion ritual? How does it make you feel when you realize that Billie Eilish, someone who probably most of us have listened to and enjoyed listening to, someone who probably most of our teenage girls and some of our gay teenage boys have listened to, is on the same side as the Church of Satan? How does that make you feel? It sure makes me think twice about Sister Billy. Do you guys think she's a part of the Sisterhood of Satan? I also wanted to show you guys how Reddit reacted to this article. If you ever wondered what side the populace of Reddit was on, you don't need to wonder anymore. Their response to this story makes it extremely obvious that they are on the side against human life. And we already know that Reddit is a dumpster fire of disgusting incels. Redditors are calling for the Satanic Temple to sue the state of Texas, and they're saying it's going to be a Roe vs. Wade version 2. They're saying how awesome this is. Some of them are even calling for other Redditors to create chapters in the states that they live in. Look at this one comment. What makes this a beautiful thing is that there is no way to argue against the Satanic Temple without blatantly admitting that they are breaking the law. In a perfect world, they would have an extremely overwhelming strong case. But we all know how corrupt Republicans have become. Holy crap, you guys, I can't even believe the lack of self-awareness in these guys. 1.4 thousand upvotes? Do you even know that Satan is the origin of corruption? Satan doesn't give a crap about laws. I don't believe Satan's followers even care about the laws. The only reason they're getting involved with this is because they want abortions to be passed around like candy. What do you have to do in your life to be so sad and depressing that the best thing you have to say about yourself is that you're a member of the Church of Satan? We all know that none of these Redditors are most likely going to do anything for this issue other than give some upvotes here and there. They're going to be too busy simping over thoughts on Twitch and OnlyFans. Stay vigilant, you guys. Now get off YouTube and go do something awesome.